Hey guys, it is Warren the Werewolf here, back in the world of my Wolfgout Skyrim series. In this particular episode, in this adventure, me and Aelia have discovered the whereabouts of another group of Silver Hand, and she sends me on a mission to destroy them. I am accompanied with my pack, and we take them out ferociously. But our tasks has gone noticed by the harbinger of the companions. Kodlak discovers what me and Aelia has done and is a tad disappointed in us. But Kodlak sends me on a mission of his own in order to reclaim his lost humanity. He has figured out an idea or a theory that may revert him back to his human form. Not, be not being a werewolf any longer. We shall take a look at this adventure. But first, I'd like to thank everyone. The 100 subscriber bonus has been hit. I will, I will put out a couple more Companions Questline episodes and then I will start work on Helgen Reborn. And to the person that has been my 100th subscriber, I shall enchant and name a weapon after you. Whichever weapon I decide to be and whichever enchantment it shall be, either me or one of my many followers will end up using it themselves. Thank you guys. And let's get to let's get to the to the action. Helia. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign. Yet. Do you know, do you have any idea what is our next target? I've been hearing rumors of Silver Hand activity. A group of them is holed up in Hjalmarch. Run fast, my friend. All right. Assassinate the Silverhand leader. Let's go, my pack. We are ready to hunt the Silverhand. Okay, it shouldn't be that far. Should be just right up here. And it appears like they have settled themselves into a cave. Hmm. I guess after we took in care of them at Gello's Ruck and Travis Watch, all kind of forts in their own special way, they resorted to hollowing into a cave. That's up there. Bye bye, crab. Through the world you go. Be free. Nah. <laughs> Well, seem to decorate it outside. I wonder why. Why would they have these decorations? Outlaws and brigands are the lowest of the low. They prey on their own countrymen for profit. Yeah. All right, let's go in. Doesn't look like there's many of them. Just one good. All right then. Oh, 
Oop, it went away. I want dragon. And then we're going to eat them. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Into the wall he goes. <laughs> Enough. Gonna rip it. Sure. <laughs> Is there more? Yep, there's one more. Go get them, guys. I'll feed on them. What are you doing? Go get the guy. I probably can't fit through there. Move, Bell Run. Move. Ugh. Did I miss one? Yep. I, yep. All right. Can I fit through here? Yeah, I can. Really? Really? That's all you had? Well, I guess we're gonna have to loot this place and uh, head back to Alia because there was only four of them. Oh wait, I can't. Can I? Well, yeah, there was only four of them left. What the hell? This was the so-called leader? Yeah, we're gonna loot this place and head back to Aelia when I'm back in human form. See you in a bit. Ah, oh, Aelia, there you are. I've been right. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. But there was only four of them. Or five. Somewhere around there. It's not enough. Do you have any more I need to hunt? And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Well... Seems like we have finally been found out. Ah, I'll let my my pack stay up here. You guys relax a little bit. Oh. You guys were already on follow. There you go. I'll be back. Thank you for coming. You wanted to see me? Yes, young man. Have a seat. Okay. I hear you've been busy a bit. Yep. I'm just doing honor for the companions. Work wherever it needs to be done. Lad, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. But this sneaking around, 
It does not befit warriors of your standing. Aella knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? The score was... He said it was a blessing from Hersin. Aye, that sounds like it. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell. So, what is the truth then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Morrow Covenant. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And then they became werewolves? They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsi for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Is there a way to cure yourself then? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, but only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Okay. I guess it shall be done then. Good. Now move quickly. And don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. Well. Looks like we have a task for me and my pack. Now Kodlak's wanting to cure himself. I assume Farkas and Vilkas will want to as well. But I doubt Aelia will want to remove it. And I'm not going to remove mine anytime soon. So we'll end up killing them all. I might save a head for myself just in case for later. And my pack follow me. And we shall be on our way. Wherever it may be. Oh, wrong button. And we are headed right there. Glenmore Coven. Just a little east of Hunter's Rest and Moss Mother Cavern. Alright. We have made our way to Hunter's Rest. We shall go the way on foot. Hopefully find ourselves... What? Vampires! No! Thou more! And they all look alike to me. You want? You want some of this? Got you in the face! Holy, holy crap, holy crap. Thou Maul and an Elder Dragon. Okay, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go magic on this first. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, what do I got? Version of magic. Oh wait, no, that's poison. Okay, we will... Why do I have that less... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no! Man, he's canceling my magic. Alright, then we're going to go with... Um, Steadfast Ward with Flaming Skull. Attacking my horses? Lucky they have armor on. Come on! That's right, aim for me! Aim for me! Knock that guy down out of the sky! Got him! Okay. Did anybody... Okay. No bounty. So that means nobody... No bystanders got hurt. Okay. How are you guys? You guys fine? My horses are okay. Now let's check these Thalmor bastards. Such warriors, and he carries a broom. Lame. Alright. Where is that just a car? Well, here's one of them. Oh, where's the leader? Did he run away? He was somewhere around here. No, oh, that's just an arrow. Oh, there he is. Gilded Defender. Just a car execution order. Huh. Alright. Be on the lookout for the Nord called Roran the Dragonborn. He is an enemy to the Thalmor and has actively disrupted our activities and ca caused great harm. If spotted, you are to destroy him with extreme hatred. Be advised, he is ex extremely dangerous and quite able to defend himself. If caught by local authorities, we are unable to offer you any assistance for the glory of the Aldmeri Dominion. Well, well, well. Looks like they're finally pissed off at me. Shame they had to come with my pack here. Oh. There's no outgunning me whenever I have any of my followers with me. Alright, let's be on our way. Finish up what we were set out to do. Oh, we got a couple wolves there while give us some trouble. Boom! 
bitches. You hear somebody casting magic nearby. What are those two doing? Save her! This is the end. <laughs> Nicely done! Really? We save you. And what are you shooting? A fox? You're shooting a fracking fox. Hunters. I swear. No gratitude. There you go. We'll go ahead and attack this fox for you. Like, no, don't thank us. No thank you for... Oh, that spriggan was going to own our face. It's just a fox. I'm not gonna do anything. Well, here we are. It doesn't look like anybody's outside. Wouldn't they have, like... Since it's hag ravens, wouldn't they have like witches guarding it? I guess not. In we go. Got the feeling there's trouble ahead. Oh, there's definitely trouble ahead. Well, now, while recording this episode, I was having trouble in between killing the Silver Hand and coming to this place. Enormous amounts of trouble. More or less, let's see, first it was uh, uh, long, super long load times. And I found out the culprit was a mod called <laughs> Enchanted Arsenal, where it had like multitude of enchantment appearance mods, where it would make my ebony blade look like it was on red fire, and I had lightning enchants where it would shoot electricity. Ah, oh, it was it was so badass looking, but. The law of the long load times were extremely awful. Long and awful. And now I'm having overheating problems. <laughs> uh, it was working fine yesterday. I had my computer on most of the most of the night, just sitting there doing some Dalton Guard Radiant quest lines. And and watching people stream, but now, now today he wants to give me trouble. Uh, I was also been looking into mods and glamifying Markarth because I really, really need to start looking into uh, doing some Markarth quest lines. So I have a couple in mind, though I wish the mod maker for uh, JK's White Run shit that fucking scared me. Uh, JK's White Run, I wish he would do other cities like Windhelm and Markarth because they fucking had great. You cast that big old magic on me. Oh, 
Holy crap! She knew I was a werewolf. Well, I never experienced that before. Oh, that is so cool. I wonder. I wonder if we could do something. Okay, back to where I was talking to. Uh, JK's White Run looks amazing, and it it updates. It has gone through three updates since its early release, since its near run release. And he, he just keeps on adding little tiny details. That makes it look so amazing. And I have it tied in with um, with beautiful white run to m give it a little flora because it was missing a little bit on that. I so wish he would do more Karth and Windhelm. It so needs it too. Because there's not really a lot going on for Windhelm and and Mark Hearts is hard to uh, make look good as well. Okay, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try something. I want to see if this works. I'll talk to a Hag Raven. to be both at the same time. Okay, we'll make you peaceful for now. We'll, we'll end up killing you later. Oh. Okay. Well, I do know that there is at least one friendliest hag raven that you can encounter in Skyrim. And that actually holds a conversation for you. I forget where she's at, though. Seems like I'm experiencing a little bit of lag issue too. I don't know where that's coming from. Must have got it right into his face vagina. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna slaughter all of these witches. of these hag ravens. Okay. Where's the next ones? There's one over there. And there's one over there. So two more left. Five heads in total. So that would be Codlac, Vilkus, Farkus, Adia, and me if I so wish to. I don't think Adia's gonna do it. Even with the mod cutting room floor open. And 
that was a little lad spike. I wonder what the frack is going on. Okay, one more head. Easy as pie. What the hell? It did it again. Okay. Now that all the heads are collected, let's go ahead and get out of here and head back to White Run. Back here in White Run. What the hell's going on? Yes. Silver These two aren't a problem. They finally had the nerve to attack your vassal. We what? Got the silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your vassal. We got most of them. The silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your vassal. Holy crap. We got most of them. I think a few stragglers. These two aren't a problem anymore. I'll take that silver mace from them. Silver hand. They finally had the nerve to us. Where have you been? I was doing Codlex bidding. What happened here? One of the fiercest battles I've ever seen. The Silver Hand. They finally found enough courage to attack your basket. We fought them off. But the old man, Codlex. He's dead. Oh, crap. How about everyone else? No, but they made off with all our fragments of Wolfrand. But you and I are going to reclaim them. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of your Vasker will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. Oh no. Well. That's not good. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video, this episode. Remember to comment, subscribe if you want to. I really do appreciate it. You guys stay furry, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.